Welcome to Superior Wisdom, your reliable resource for personal development and dating advice. We're here to guide you through the intricate labyrinth that is dating and personal growth. A crucial aspect of this journey is understanding the emotional maturity of your potential partner. Recognizing the signs of emotional immaturity can save you from heartache and help you build healthier relationships. Emotional maturity, or the lack thereof, can greatly influence the dynamics of a relationship. It can affect communication, conflict resolution, and the overall happiness of both parties involved. So it's a topic worth delving into. Today, we delve into the world of emotional maturity, specifically the six signs that a woman is emotionally immature. First and foremost, emotional volatility is a clear sign of emotional immaturity. Now you may be wondering, what exactly is emotional volatility? It's characterized by sudden and extreme changes in mood, often in response to minor issues. For instance, a small disagreement might trigger an overreaction, or a minor setback could lead to an emotional outburst. This kind of behavior is not only unpredictable, but also exhausting for those on the receiving end. It can feel like you're walking on eggshells, never quite sure what might set off the next emotional explosion. But remember, it's not just about the big outbursts. Emotional volatility can also manifest in quieter ways, like sudden bouts of sadness or anxiety without an apparent cause. The key here is the inability to regulate emotions, which can leave you feeling like you're on an emotional roller coaster. So why is this a problem? Well, emotional volatility can lead to a tumultuous and unstable relationship. It creates an environment of uncertainty and stress, which is far from the stable and nurturing relationships we all deserve. The second sign to look out for is a lack of empathy. Empathy, the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, is a cornerstone of any healthy relationship. It's like a bridge that connects two people, allowing them to share experiences and emotions. Now imagine if that bridge was never there. Let's envision some instances. You had a tough day at work, and instead of offering support, she brushes off your concerns. Or perhaps you're excited about a personal accomplishment, but she seems indifferent or even jealous. These are classic examples of a lack of empathy, where she fails to acknowledge or value your feelings, thereby creating a disconnect. Empathy is not just about sharing joy or sorrow, it's about being there for each other understanding each other, and respecting each other's emotions. When empathy is missing, it's like trying to build a house on sand. The foundation is unstable, and the relationship can easily topple. A lack of empathy can create a one-sided relationship where one partner's feelings and needs are consistently overlooked. Before we continue with the remaining signs, a quick reminder. If you're finding value in our content, show your support by giving this video a thumbs up sharing it with your friends, and subscribing to our Superior Wisdom channel. We're committed to providing you with the insights you need to navigate the complexities of relationships and personal development. Now back to our topic, the signs of emotional immaturity in women. Scene script. Signs 3, 4, and 5 are inability to communicate effectively, shifting blame and dependence on others. Let's take a closer look at these signs and understand why they indicate emotional immaturity. Firstly, let's address the inability to communicate effectively. This is not about being an eloquent speaker or having a flair for words. It's about being able to express feelings, thoughts, and needs in a clear and respectful manner. If a person struggles to articulate their emotions or tends to suppress them until they burst out uncontrollably, it shows a lack of emotional maturity. Good communication is about balance and understanding, not about suppression or explosion. Moving on to blame, shifting. We all make mistakes. It's a part of being human. However, the ability to accept our mistakes, learn from them and move forward is a sign of emotional maturity. If a person constantly shifts blame onto others, avoiding responsibility for their actions, it's a clear sign of emotional immaturity. It's easier to point fingers and play the victim than to stand up and take responsibility, isn't it? Lastly, we have dependence on others. While it's completely normal to rely on others for certain things, Emotional maturity requires a degree of independence. If a person is overly dependent on others for their happiness, decision-making, or self-worth, it's an indication of emotional immaturity. Their happiness and self-esteem should not be tied to someone else's approval or validation. These signs point towards a lack of self-awareness and responsibility, crucial aspects of emotional maturity. 
The sixth and final sign of emotional immaturity is a fear of commitment. This doesn't mean being wary of signing a lease or avoiding a long-term phone contract, but rather an apprehension about making emotional investments. It's about being hesitant to fully invest in a relationship because of the potential vulnerability that comes with it. A fear of commitment can manifest itself in many ways. It could be a reluctance to define the relationship or an unwillingness to plan for the future. It might look like someone constantly seeking newness, unable to settle into the familiar comfort of a long-term relationship. They might always be looking for the next best thing, unwilling to put down roots and build something lasting. This fear can have a profound impact on a relationship. It can create a sense of instability and insecurity as the other person is left wondering where they stand. It can prevent deep emotional connections from forming as one person is always holding back, afraid of what committing fully might mean. A fear of commitment can prevent a relationship from progressing and becoming deeper. It's a sign of emotional immaturity because it shows a lack of understanding that real meaningful relationships require vulnerability and commitment. In conclusion, understanding these signs of emotional immaturity can help you make better relationship choices. To recap, we've looked at emotional volatility, lack of empathy, inability to communicate effectively, a tendency to shift blame, dependence on others, and a fear of commitment. These are the red flags to watch out for in a partner. Emotional maturity is key to a healthy, fulfilling relationship. Remember, knowledge is power. Don't forget to comment below and share your experiences or thoughts on this topic. Thanks for tuning in to Superior Wisdom.